Hello, I'm going to introduce you to um, CWM Window Manager. That's a floating window manager from BSD community. It's being ported to Linux via Linucretion. On her GitHub, you can find CWM project, and under releases, there is a most recent version she ported. It's 7.4 that we are using. I started playing with it because I needed to learn something new and uh, just for fun I was looking for a more lightweight floating window manager than Fluxbox I've been using for many years and I am very happy with uh, To be honest I didn't expect to stay for good on this new window manager I find but it turned otherwise and I'm using CWM full time right now So uh, let's start with the basics You have one configuration file that is cwm.rc that stays in your home directory first line unbinds all the key bindings I don't do the same for the mouse ones because they are pretty accurate I change a few only short look and fill section gap on the top 36 pixels 8 on the bottom left and right move amount 40 pixels if I'm using shortcuts 2 pixel border with some fonts some colors bindings uh, you write bind key what keys and what happens we have five menus built into cwm that is window menu shows actually opened window exec menu uh, runs all the commands you have installed in your system uh, the command menu i think is like a run command i don't really use it group menu shows windows in certain group and hidden windows shows hidden windows groups uh, replace virtual desktops here because we don't have virtual desktop we have window groups I will uh, show it to you in a second and hidden windows are like minimized windows so um, let's open menu under left mouse button as you can see all my windows are in zero group except for the Firefox that is in group 3 you can set it up the way that all new windows go into uh, the active group but I didn't do it the ampersand next to window name says it's a hidden window so like a minimized and the exclamation mark shows active window some basic window control uh, closing maximizing we have uh, vertical and horizontal maximization so uh, that's how it is cycling through windows simple works moving windows left right up, up down snapping windows and the vertical tiling and horizontal we have this functionality so let's open two more windows and do vertical tiling if we select different active window and repeat it goes into master window position and same for the horizontal setting uh, now we have groups so uh, you can set up up to nine or ten group i think but i have only four don't need more so okay let's uh, move this window to group 1, this window to group 2, and this window to group 4. And uh, we can show only windows from group 1, from group 2, or from group 4, but we can also show windows from group 1 and add windows from group 2, and let's say from group 4. That's basically how it is, a very simple effect. If you can see this section is pretty straightforward. Now, mouse bindings, you write ma uh, you write bind mouse keys and what happens application mm, binds of mine and the application menu it's all set up here as you can see it's all the same uh, ignore list is uh, a list of uh, windows that are ignored from the cycling queue and from the window menu it's based on a vm name setting of the application yet it didn't worked in all cases in all the cases in my situation there is also a, a third party patch for uh, cwm by martin lokov i will link, leave you the link in the description that also adds ignoring through vm class setting of the application uh, and it sorted it for me you can also use auto group to move windows into certain groups by default but i don't use it uh, what you should know as well when using cwm is that you don't have auto start functionality and uh, i'm i have come upon the desktop entry through from the fedora community that runs 
um, session and your session is run um, through your X session, X clients or one more file, but I will show it in a second. So this is basically this desktop entry. It's called Xenit Compact. You can name it however you want, of course. And Xenit Compact script is this. So as you can see, it run, it's, uh, looks for a file with X session, X clients, or etc, X11, Xenit X clients. Uh, I'm gonna show you my X session. So it runs uh, the, the script startup sh. It's not a part of a CWM uh, configuration. It's all my setting. Uh, so the folder .config CWM is what uh, what I have created. It doesn't. It uh, was not created by CWM itself. So basically, here I have all my startup applications like Xmobile and stuff, and and at the end it runs CWM. So normal, normal stuff. That's how I started out to start with CWM. Uh, I mentioned the patch from Martin Lukov. Uh, I'm going to show you Martin Lukov page. Yeah, so here I will also leave you a link in the description. Here he wrote several patches for CWM. Uh, according to Windows movement, Windows resizing, many customization and stuff and stuff. Um, he lost his access to his GitHub profile. I think he can write comments, but nothing more. That's what he told me. I spoke with him and uh, he wrote this patch. I asked him for to fix the signal behavior. Uh, of course, I will uh, leave the link. Other patches for CWM are made for Vadik, yet I didn't use his work. Please remember that not every patch will work with the uh, line export of CWM. Uh, some of them may only work on the version for the uh, for the BSD. So uh, yeah, I think that's it. Mm, CWM. Oh no, no, that's not it. Uh, I also want to show you the manual pages that are super short and very informative. Mm, so CWM manual looks like this. You have basic basic bindings. Uh, explanation what is what on the window list many and also suggest you to look into CWMRC man page that is absolutely wonderful. Uh, here you have all the key shortcuts for the bindings. Mm. The keyboard and the mouse keys, mouse buttons. Some bindings and oh sorry i <laughs> i opened the same man page yeah uh, so cwmrc man page is uh, the keys mouse buttons yeah sorry about it and uh, all the settings and options you can use in your cwmrc it's very straightforward all the functions as you can see and some examples down below it's a uh, super super functional super informative man page very short, so it's not a long read, uh, but it's worth looking into. Okay, so uh, that's it basically. Uh, I just wanted to make this video because uh, I didn't see many videos uh, about CWM, and it's certainly worth mentioning. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful window manager. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.